Hey guys, in this video, as the title says, I'll be showing you how I prepared for my board exam. Now, a few months before term one, I prepared this Excel sheet and it was tracking my progress, which was very, very systematic. And you can, you know, customize it according to your needs. For example, you can bring columns like textbook, exemplar, Adi Sharma or anything, any kind of book you wanted to solve. Also, I had this checklist made a few months before the exam and I had another checklist for my term two, which was weeks before the exam. Now, since you're all 10th graders, I just wanted to talk a little bit about stream selection and how I went about it. With recommendations from friends and influencers, I got to know about the platform by name Planet Study for Career Counseling and I was checking their website and I've decided to purchase this 7000 rupees plan and this goes all the way up to college which is very interesting and after I logged in I first got to know more about the website I just explored and I started taking the assessment so it has many different categories on which the assessment is based like stream selection eq and iq learning habits and even it even tests your aptitude taking the test was very fun because i could answer a lot of questions which made me think about how i feel about things around me and i liked how the results were so systematic you know based on how i answered they gave me my streams i got pcb as my first option and they you know gave me my aptitude results so basically i got pcb as my first option and i'm so glad because i feel like this is very apt for my interest and um, I just can't believe that they gave it so perfectly like it actually understood and it was so fun answering all the questions. So after you complete the assessment, you can simply download the detailed report and read through it and understand what career suits you and really comprehend which, you know, career path will be best for you in the future. So after finishing the test, I analyzed the report and showed it to my parents and we went through all the different options. Now you can go according to the streams, there's PCB, PCM, Commerce, Humanities. You can look into the career options for each stream. After that, I was assigned a career counselor for a one-on-one -on -one career guidance session. Hey guys, so it's time for me to attend my counseling session with my counselor and I'm super excited because this is my first time, so let's join. And uh, the, this side, Professor Chandra Jain. I'm heading the research and counseling team of the plan study. And uh, I have been a trained counselor uh, from past 20, 21 years. I have written 15 books for the students to understand better, to learn better. And I take lots of counseling sessions, not only for students, but faculty members also. And this is a little brief profile about me and I welcome you again in this session. I had an amazing and very informative session. My counselor was very sweet and she gave me many new uh, ideas about the new brimming opportunities in uh, fields of different fields of career, especially related to my stream choice, science, and it was very informative. You said very rightly that to do good in our career, as well as to be a better person and most importantly, you know, to be happy with ourselves. If you need some kind of support or assistance from our side, we are just one messenger. Then coming to the huge pile of question papers I solved. Now, my teachers gave me many previous year papers. I collected papers from different schools, including my friends who studied in different schools, and I solved all of them. I wrote them down, not just mentally, you know, try and think of the answer, but to write them down, especially for term two, which was uh, subjective. I wrote many question papers. I gave myself marks and I think it was very good and it helped me at the end. And I really got a hang of writing according to the mark and according to, you know, the speed. Uh, I mean, you know, just to increase the speed for the given time, which was very important for time management. Apart from that, I took down unique question answers, which I never came across and did plenty of OMR practice, which was important for my term one exam since it was objective. Also, uh, for my term one, which was objective, I was very scared of, you know, giving MCQ exams. So I did a lot and lot practice of MCQ. I took many, many MCQs from different YouTube videos and whichever I couldn't solve, whichever I found was a very good question, I whichever I thought was very interesting, I noted them all down just 
so that I can revise in the last minute. And as you can see, I went through several question papers, which was very important for giving an idea of the type of questions. However, during the last days before my exam, especially for term two, we had a uh, quite a gap between the different exams. So especially for, I think, math, I had a very long gap, almost eight days, I believe. So because of that, I was able to go through NCRT. So I focused more on reading the textbook rather than watching any type of lectures on YouTube or anything. I focused more on reading. I wanted to, you know, uh, replenish my memory of the ncrt content so i focused mainly on reading the textbook during my last and final days before the exam but i think i wouldn't exactly suggest this it depends on how you learn better some people like solving questions but i liked reading the content more so that's what i did